happy Monday, everyone. We're back. It's the 8 p.m. Uh, storybook reading. And uh, we don't know how long we're going to continue this. As long as we have readers that have signed up, we'll continue. Uh, whether we will come to an end at the end of July or end of August, it just depends on uh, the people that have signed up to read. So we'll see how it goes. Last week was an exciting week. Uh, we had uh, uh, folks like MLA Linda Reed. We had the Langford Councilor Lillian Spock. We had the Lieutenant Governor uh, Janet Austin with her uh, uh, companion McDuff. And we had Czech Television Stacy Ross. Now, this week, I could probably tell you the names of who's uh, going to be reading, but I'm not sure at this point what day they're going to be. So we're going to take each day as it comes, and we'll let you know uh, on that day who's going to be the reader uh, for that day. Now, for tonight, uh, I was trying to decide what to read. And on social media, I have seen lots of friends and relatives posting about their family members who are graduating or who have just graduated. And of course, it's been a difficult time for graduation due to uh, COVID, uh, but it is exciting regardless and definitely a time to celebrate uh, when you're graduating from high school. So I decided that it'd be worthwhile to read Dr. Seuss's Oh, the Places You Go uh, and to uh, dedicate this to all those who have graduated this year. So let's get reading. Oh, the Places You Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any no, not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. And there, out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. You'll go right along. You'll start happening too. All the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang ups and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly off. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun and slumping yourself is not easily done. So we'll come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. How you dare to stay out do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you left, turn left or right? Or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start in to race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, towards the most useless place, the waiting place. 
for people just waiting, waiting for a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or no or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite or waiting for a wind to fly a kite or waiting around for a Friday night or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake or a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more you'll ride high, ready for anything under the sky, because you're that kind of guy. All the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winniest winner of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't, because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win, because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, through the, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though the enemies prowl. On you will go through the hack and cracks howl, onward up many a frightening creek, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems wherever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name. Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mar Mordecai, Ali, Van Allen, O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. And that is All the Places You Go by Dr. Seuss. So I hope you enjoyed this book. Uh, apparently Dr. Seuss read this uh, at a graduation uh, when he wrote it. And I just want to say happy graduation to all those who graduated this year for the class of 2020. And uh, we'll introduce tomorrow's speaker tomorrow. So nighty night, sweet dreams. Remember to stay calm, stay kind, and stay safe.